Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And this is just kind of a uh, channel update as I'm working on my office. But uh, as I'm working on my office, I uh, I found this, this uh, software. And this is actually the software that I ran my first um, ISP with. And it's called World Group. It was by a company called uh, Galacticom. And they're not exactly in business anymore. I think you can find a couple of groups that tried to uh, to start something with the company. But uh, yeah, I, I thought you'd find this really neat. So believe it or not, this actually ran on uh, DOS when I had it. Um, there was a Windows NT version, and when I bought the base, it was an eight. I could have eight simultaneous connected users. So it's been a while since I've opened this box, but I kept this with me. And this was like the first major purchase I made when I was 15 years old, when I had my first uh, ISP. And uh, as you can see here, let's see, the system requirements, a minimum, uh, the minimum system requirements were a 486, DOS 5 or higher, 8 megs of RAM, and 50 megs of disk space. That was amazing. And then you had to have a TCP IP channel for each simultaneous user, uh, Novell LAN, so like uh, you could actually hook this into like a server and have uh, file shares on it. And then I did have uh, 16 lines. I had 16 uh, dial-up lines, and then I had 8 Telnet lines um, at the end before I sold the ISP. So let's um, let's get this out of the box and take a look. I found another disc that actually goes with this. I had a bunch of software for my uh, ISP when I had it uh, back in the late 90s. Uh, MUDs or multi-user dungeons, those games were extremely popular. And so I had uh, I had some some games, but let's see what's in this box. All right, it's a box inside of a box. So uh, when I when I had the um, internet company, it was GBAM Telecommunications, because at the time I owned my, um, I uh, took the initiative, I mowed yards until I had enough money to buy gumball machines. And then I ended up buying, I think uh, I had like 20 to 25 gumball machines and I had my own vending route. And then uh, I had um, someone else who kicked some money in to this, but then I uh, transitioned out of the gumball machines into technology full time. But uh, I've thought about getting back into bulk vending. All right, so the box came and it had this, uh, this blue foam in it. And so there are several things in here. So we'll take this and then there's this and then there's a bunch of bunch of paperwork here because I had a thing called the action pack uh, which was for the uh, teleconference and you could do like a gun fight and a food fight and all kinds of stuff and we had these things called globals I don't know if any of you uh, remember this or not but uh, I appreciate you listening to me ramble next week we'll be back with technical videos this will all be at least uh, in a, a set up so that I can show it off, hopefully as long as the storm doesn't blow us away. So here is the actual world group. Uh, this is the CD. So this is the 32-bit version for Windows NT and uh, Windows 95. Yes, I still have this. Thinking about putting it back online, so let me know what you think about that. If you'd like, you tell that in um, and we chat. And I would actually probably like this better than Discord. Um, just because I have full control over it. And then um, the Legend of the Red Dragon. I don't know if um, I don't know if any of you remember that game or not, but there's the, the, the floppy that has the Legend of the Red Dragon. I think the other floppy that I found is either the Globals um, or it is a game called Lunatics, um, which was a, a game where you were in like an insane asylum and you had to you had to survive. It was all there, all text-based and things like that. All right, so here are the discs out of the envelope. And you gotta remember, these haven't been out of here 
since the 90s. All right, so the first thing we got, we got World Group Installation Disc 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so the original World Group, and before this was called World Group, it was called Major BBS. And there were a lot of, um, there were a lot of dial-up internet companies that were uh, independent like me that ran on this software. A lot of them. I mean, huge networks. So there, here are the five original uh, World Group installation discs. Major BBS was cool too, uh, but the World Group was the next evolution. Um, no, so here is uh, my, this disc is actually the, this was from a company called Datasoft. They, they were a VAR. Um, and this is actually the global, the global power. So this is the global power. I'm going to have to see if I can find all this stuff as a download um, because I don't have, I don't have a floppy drive. I don't even have a USB floppy drive. All right. So then this next disc is the World Group Hypermedia Page Editor. So World Group had a Windows client that you could download. It was a GUI driven and uh, you could edit the pages and stuff. So not only could you have this text and then the web, but they actually had a client that you could package that people could download. All right, the next disc is, this is the dial-up option. So that's the dial-up option disc. Allowed people to dial in. All right, here is the entertainment collection. So I had the globals, which is really cool. You could hit pound. It would tell you who was online, where they were at in the system. And then this is the entertainment collection. It's two discs. Um, and this is what had like the teleconference with the gunfight and all that stuff. Oh, here's a, here is a installed disc number six. I'm going to add that back here to the pile. And then there was a company called uh, Vercom, and I believe they were Canadian. But uh, this is the disc that has a uh, major TCP IP on it. And this would work with major BBS or World, World Group. And if you ever uh, telneted in to a, um, a, world, a World Group, or if you ever dialed in to the text side of a World Group BBS, you'd see this thing, it was like auto-sensing, you know, auto-sensing TCP IP at the top. So even though World Group was like text-based, you could get this major TCP IP um, add-on, and that's what actually allowed us to set up the uh, slip connections, the dial-up connections for um, people to actually be able to get on the internet. So that this is bringing back a lot of memories. And I'm thinking about, like I said, I'm thinking about spinning up a VM, a DOS VM, thinking about using my original licensing and uh, bringing this thing back online. If you're interested in that, let me know uh, for sure. I could probably use some sysops too. So let's see what other kind of paperwork um, <laughs> I've got to go with this. I, I literally kept everything. Um, you know, I, I had to get rid of the hardware. And the only reason that I had to get rid of the uh, hardware is because it got damaged in a storm. So it was really, it was really no good. So here's a registration key for something. I don't know what, it's not written on there. It's actually written on the back of a Newman Ullman uh, application, which Newman Ullman was a uh, distributor. Uh, you could buy bulk vending supplies from them back in the day. Let's see here. Um, what is this? So this piece of paper, more uh, registration activation codes. What is this? Okay, so this is actually the installation instructions uh, for World Group. Uh, no, what is this? Hold on a second. Is this major TCP IP? No, this was a uh, Galacticom upgrading to World Group um, 3.1. So it would tell you how to uh, upgrade from major BBS. <laughs> world group one, world group two, up to uh, world group three. And then here is a letter. Uh, Dear William, encloses a CD containing your year 2000 compatible world group upgrade. The CD contains world group for NT95 3.12 and world group for DOS 3.12. If you're a licensed owner of the Activase add-on, 
uh, for World Group, for NT, or the webcast, because you used to be able to do webcasts. I mean, Galacticon was like ahead of their time um, with this software. And then it gives me my activation code for the software and tells me that there's a readme.txt on there. All right, what else do I have? Uh, envelopes. I actually have the um, original envelopes for all of this software. And um, if you remember computers back in the day, the envelopes actually had the EULAs on, on the envelope. So this is pretty cool. You know, I was going through my stuff, trying to get organized, and I had this, and um, I will likely never throw this away. <laughs> Uh, but I am thinking about spinning it up. I guess I could do it. I'm licensed for uh, Windows NT, and I actually have a legit copy of Windows NT laying around. Um, or I'm licensed for DOS. So I could do it either way. Obviously, it would not be dial-in. It would be Telnet only. Um, but if I get enough, excuse me, if I get an, enough people that want to use this and would use it, I'll spin up a VM and, and we'll just have it here. And it'll be fun, something that we can all do together. So let me know uh, down there, excuse me, in the comments, if that's something that you would, um, you'd like to participate in. So if you've got uh, any videos that you want to see, let me know. Like I said, next week, we're going to get back to the technical content. Things have just been uh, a little crazy. And uh, so getting those videos out on time. So, you know, thank you for uh, entertaining me and watching this kind of like this little, uh, this little walk through memory of uh, software that ran my my very first uh, ISP. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. If you'd like to Talk to us on Discord. The link is down below. If you'd like to become a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. And, of course, the Amazon shop link is down below. It doesn't change your price, but it kicks a couple bucks to the channel to keep things rolling in. Once again, I want to tell you that I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.